Community leaders turned dirt this morning in a ceremonial groundbreaking for a brand new community center near Lafayette Square Mall. This is the latest project in the area by Soho's Capital, which also owns the now empty mall. Our Rich and I today talked with the real estate developer to learn what's holding up the future plans for this mall property. Shoppers World is still open in the back of Lafayette Square Mall, but besides that, only the pigeons hang out at the mall these days. Almost two years ago, Soho's Capital announced a $200 million plan to turn the mall and surrounding campus into window to the world. The neighborhood concept with mall corridors turned into international themed indoor streets was supposed to open last spring. Redevelopment plans have been delayed and changed. We find a lot of opportunities, a lot of things that didn't fit what our initial plan was. That's what we, the, the only thing that I can say is the project is bigger. I believe that is better and it makes a lot more sense. Fabio de la Cruz owns about 250 acres in the area. The mall is the biggest dinosaur property. I mean, always call it the, the, the T-Rex before I buy it. <laughs> I still I am here. I didn't need me yet. I cannot promise you anything. The mall has already eaten at least $20 million in renovations with now no tenants or clear future. If I was willing to lose a lot of money uh, because that's basically what it has to happen in order for me to change directions, is because it makes sense. Lafayette Square has been a, a problem for 20 years. We've hoped and prayed somebody would buy it and do something with it. And it finally happened. I think Eagle Dale will change. I think it will be a better place. Fabio de la Cruz says the next major announcement for this area comes next month, right across the street from the mall, with plans to remodel and reopen this multi-screen movie theater. De La Cruz says an updated master plan for the entire area should be announced by the end of this year. He hopes the future of the mall is settled by next year. In Indianapolis, Rich and I, 13 News. Well, if you've been following this story, you know it's been a long road to get here for Lafayette Square Mall. You can read about the ups, downs, and the strange detours this redevelopment has taken. We've got it posted for you right now on WTHR.com.